Hello everyone. Hello from Texas to all. This is Grandpa Hickory. You have your coffee? I got my tea. Oh, well it's hot here in Texas. I'll be glad when it cools down a little bit more. So, summer's hanging on for a little bit longer, isn't it? Hey, I wanted to talk to you about something today. You know, my dad used to talk to me a lot, many a year ago, about the Great Depression, and the things that happened, and the things that people went through. And You know, I got to looking. My dad mentioned uh, the things they ate and everything, and I got to looking. You know, friends, God made the potato. And my dad was telling me about potatoes. I, I never will forget what he told me. And, uh, you know, the Lord made these potatoes. It's a great big old russet here. My neighbors gave these to me. Wasn't that nice of them? They got garden and stuff, you know, that live over close to farms. But uh, I was looking, you know, there's different types, different types of potatoes. And, you know, these things are so good for you. They've got vitamins, minerals. They've got uh, protein. Uh, the things that you need. And uh, my dad was telling me how that uh, with potatoes, that everybody ate potatoes. They grew their own potatoes. They grew their own beans, pinto beans, things like that. And that's what they existed off of. And that's what they lived off of. And uh, they ate this all the time. And, you know... Uh, he told me how that families on the farms and everything, that they actually, uh, times were so bad and everything, it was all teamwork. Families had to pitch in and help each other, do chores. And, uh, families had to live together and stay together. Grandparents and the little children and the adults and everything, they all, you know, had to stay together. And they had a bond and they all each had chores that they did. And they would grow potatoes. They would grow corn. And they would grow beans. And uh, lots of squash. Especially zucchini. I don't know why it is, but zucchini squash seems to outgrow yellow squash. Hands down. I mean, the, it's just unbelievable. But that's what they did. They raised a lot of zucchini. They raised a lot of potatoes. Uh, different types of potatoes and different types of beans, mainly pinto, and they also, you know, uh, black-eyed peas and uh, purple hole peas, uh, things like this is what they raise to eat. The Depression was a very, very bad time. There was no money. Nobody had any money. Everybody was just existing. Uh, they did do a lot of fishing. My dad told me that. They would go down to the streams and the rivers and the creeks, ponds, and uh, they would catch fish, and they would hunt. They would uh, get squirrel and rabbit and uh, deer. They took deer, and uh, they would get wild pig. And uh, this is what they did to exist. Uh, the pig, the wild boar, was their uh, uh, their bacon, their pork chops, uh their pork roasts, and their hams, and that's what they had. I've got a little kitten that I have to keep an eye on because she is really getting into things. I, I've had her knock all the food over on the floor this morning. You know, it's their food, and I put it in a, a container. I got the other little kitty. It's right here in a paper plate. I got it from the vet today. I picked him up, little darling, and he's, he's hiding. He won't come out. So, I got the food here, and the little one likes to jump in it and play in it. See, everything's play to her, so I really have to keep an eye on her. You know how it is with children. Well, kittens are the same way. Little puppies are also. They're just little children. They're just little folk. <laughs> but hey, listen, I did want to talk to you about the potato and how that God made a very sustaining food. And this is eaten all over the world. There's a lot of third world countries that they grow these, and this is their main sustenance right here. And you know, I was reading about, uh, uh, I think it's Okinawa. Uh, they have a purple uh, sweet potato. And uh, 
it's very highly uh, anti-cancerous, and they eat they eat these uh, purple sweet potatoes all the time, every day of the week, all three meals, all day long, and uh, they actually live to be way up in the hundreds, you know, 110, 112. That's longevity. So I thought, well, that's interesting. But I just thought I'd share this with you and just talk to you about what God made, how He made the potato, and uh, the things that God created and provided for all of us. And you know, friends, I'm going to tell you something about the potato. You can grow these on your patio. You can do it in a barrel. Uh, you get you a plastic barrel, and you can actually, you can make it out of chicken wire. Make you a big circle of chicken wire, about five feet tall. And you can put uh, uh, hay in it, and uh, you can start planting your uh, uh, potato plants and get them growing in there. And as they grow up, you add more hay and mulch around them and uh, soil, and you just keep doing it all the way up. And the next thing you know, that thing is crammed full. You get about 100, 110, 125 pounds of potatoes and uh, be more than enough for you. See, back in the old days, they raised these things, I mean, I, I, by the thousand of pounds, and they would keep them down in their root cellars, down, way down underground. I think they were like 30 feet deep, something like that. Might have been, might have been 40 feet. But that's what they did to survive. And I just wanted to come on and talk with you about the potato and how that it helped so much when America was going through the Great Depression. And that food is still something for everyone to really keep in mind and learn how to grow it yourself in case something happens so that you will have a food source to eat. And I suggest strongly that you learn how to plant beans Pole beans. Uh, my dad showed me how they made the poles, and they got the pent. They put the pinto beans down in the ground after they sprouted. They would plant them. Uh, they kept them in uh, toe sacks, moist toe sacks, and then the the shoots would start shooting up. And as they did, then they would take them and they would plant them, and then they would start going up on the poles. And the next thing you know, they had beans this long hanging off, big old beans. They'd take them and dry them, and after they dried, they'd crack them open, and all them pinto beans fall right in the pan. They'd go in there, and they'd, they'd cook, and they had pinto beans. They had uh, uh, baked potatoes. Uh, sometimes they made mashed potatoes, and uh, they grew their own chickens, their own ducks and turkeys, and their own pigs, and this is what people did to survive. So it's something to kind of think of nowadays. That's why I encourage everybody to leave the cities, get you some property way out in the country, and, and start your own little homestead. That's what I'm working towards. That's my prayer. And I'm praying that I get there. But hey, you have a wonderful day. I'll talk your ear off. Uh, hit the like button and please subscribe. I'm Grandpa Henry saying goodbye from now from Texas. And I will see you on the next video. Have a good day. Bye for now.